Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lyle Hernandez. I'm an instrument tech with East Bay Mud. And uh, I made one of these videos, or was the actor in one of these videos, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about what my experience was and kind of what we wanted to accomplish when we set out to do this. So who I am, um, Lyle Hernandez, East Bay Mud, instrument tech, also an alumni of the um, Los Badanos College instrumentation program. Um, why I wanted to participate. Um, initially, I don't know, earn some points with my supervisor, uh, <laughs> get out of work. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, uh, I went to the LMC program uh, about six years ago, and it's really been a good choice and, and a lot of value I got out of it. So I, I wanted to kind of give this project some good effort because I think it's a good opportunity for people that were in the same shoes as I was in when I started. So that's kind of why I stayed engaged. Um, products, so we made a video, and that's the next slide. So Corey was very helpful in doing most of the um, technical stuff, like doing the, writing the script. Well, actually, we wrote the script, but as far as putting it into the right format, um, doing the videography, and it was, uh, it was good. All me and Kyle had to do was kind of mess around and tell some jokes and come up with some creative stuff together. So that's the script. Um, Kyle was the one that kind of did the location scouting with the Bayworks people, mainly Corey, just to see if the places would be suitable for a video shoot as far as noise or access. Um, Kyle drove them around and we picked some places that were representative of the of the locations we work but also we wanted to try to highlight some of the beauty you can see Brioni's Reservoir you can't really tell but Berkeley Hills Reservoir is in Berkeley Hills so it's a pretty nice place um, and that was our location scouting um, the storyboard again uh, something Corey developed to kind of help us with the timeline and, and lay out when we were going to shoot each scene at times, we, maybe we couldn't shoot a scene because one of the locations was occupied or some other technical reason. So we would skip to the next scene and knock that out and then go backwards. Uh, so this was pretty helpful. We were able to get the whole shoot done in a little more than half a day, which was, which was good. You don't want to drag everybody back out a second day. So um, the call sheet. I guess this was just kind of to know where each scene was being shot. And um, we actually had some notes as well. I think we included it with each location. So like um, the AMC offices, you have to call in. So we made sure we was and checking with security. So there were kind of instructions with each location to make sure that it was kind of seamless for them to know who to call, how to get in, how to. And, and it really did go. It flowed pretty well, I thought. So that was helpful. And this is a draft video. Corey wanted me to emphasize that. This is a draft. She's still <laughs> editing it. Um, our, uh, when did we film this? When did we film this? Uh, what, a couple weeks ago? A week ago, Tuesday. A week uh, ago? A week ago, <laughs> Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. Oh, it seems longer. It seems like it's been longer. A week ago today. <laughs> yesterday. We filmed it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I'll talk a little bit about it before we uh, play it. But, uh, w really what our motivation was when we got in involved was, you know, we, we had to get together with the Baywork people and, and some people from some other organizations, Laney College as well, and try to think of how we could really serve their needs. Um, they wanted, from my understanding, was to have something as an outreach material for um, young people or returning students, but then also something that we can tie a curriculum to to get them interested in math after they watch the video. So we really didn't want to do anything too instrumentation specific. Um, instrumentation is really sort of the peak of a pyramid that starts with the very broad base. Uh, we start out taking chemistry, um, math, physics, and a lot of other stuff before we even do uh, instrumentation. So what we did is we just wanted to do something kind of to pique people's interest in instrumentation, first of all. Um, just kind of like a broad zoomed out view and then give them some problems that were more geared towards uh, the rudimentary math that goes into understanding some of the more complex uh, concepts. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You're going to see some uh, great Academy Award winning acting <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> this is Hi, my name is Lyle Hernandez. I'm an instrument technician for East Bay Municipal Utility District, also known as East Bay Mud. Hi, my name is Kyle Terry and I'm an instrument worker three at East Bay Mud and we help to provide clean, delicious drinking water to 1.4 million East Bay residents. Our service area encompasses a 331 square mile area from Crockett in the north, south to San Lorenzo, east to Walnut Creek, and south from Walnut Creek to San Ramon. We use masks on a daily basis in the various jobs we are required to perform. In the next video, we'd like to show you an example of what one of those jobs would look like. Kyle Terry, East Bay Mud. What's up, Kyle? What's going on, Lyle? The control center says the foot gate doesn't match the level transmitter at Berkeley View Reservoir. All right, let's get on it. Pronto. 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 Kyle, what's the foot gauge reading? Foot gauge is reading 12 and a half feet. Hmm. The transmitter is reading 100 inches. It's off by at least a foot. Give me a zero. There's zero percent. Nice. Perfect zero. Give me 50 percent now. How tall is this thing? It's 22 feet when full. Okay. Here's 132 inches, 50 percent. Great. Reading 50%. Let's try 100% now. Alright. I'm giving you 100%. Okay, the transmitter seems to be working perfectly. The problem must be the gauge. Alright, let's adjust the gauge to match the readings on the transmitter and we'll call the control room. Sounds good. Cool. We both really enjoy our careers as instrument techs at East Bay Mud. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if you'd like to know more about careers in the water and wastewater industry, please visit the Baywork website at baywork.org. Now, um, our kind of, I guess, philosophy going into developing the video was to keep it, um, so we're reaching out to young people. Um, we wanted to keep it lighthearted, something that's going to keep their attention. And, you know, after we already get them engaged with the video, maybe they'd be willing to go, okay, I'll check this curriculum out, and hmm, what is instrumentation? Maybe it's something that I might look further into, so that's all I have. Uh, thank you guys for your time. Um, I'm Kathy Roizen. I'm at Laney College, and I work as a program coordinator for the Industrial Maintenance Cohort, which is a full-time day certificate program at Laney. And, um, we try very, our, our curriculum is almost completely contextualized at Laney in that the math is a specific curi curriculum called Math for the Trades. The textbook we use is called Math for the Trades. And um, actually one of the things I forgot to say and one of the reasons why I wanted to participate is that going forward I'm going to be working with virtually all the skilled trades at Laney, each department separately, to develop math curriculum for each, each trade so that we can enhance the math classes and make the carpentry math more accessible for carpent carpentry students and make the ECT environmental controls math more meaningful for them instead of it being abstract it will be more suited to their trade so starting in the fall if not this summer I'm going to be sitting down with the chair chairs of different CTE departments at Laney and talking to them about the kind of math the students use on a regular basis in those divisions and then developing problems with their help to enhance the math curriculum. Um, 
so why, let's see, warm up. So similar to all the other formats, um, we started with a little form, uh, a warm up, exposing students to some problems with percentage, some problems with volume, calculating volume, and then uh, they need to know that they can convert gallons of water to cubic feet and know that, that ratio and that conversion. And um, there's a cover sheet for teachers that I produce that's much more extensive than this, this is just an overview, discussing a little bit about why do distribution operators need to know exactly how much water they have in their tanks at all times. Um, and you, you know, you can talk to students about something that they can relate to. I mean, um, any student can understand that if there's a fire, then the needs for water in a particular area would, would go up very high and the district has to be ready to meet those needs at all times. And even at times of day in the morning when everybody's taking a shower, the water needs might be greater. So that the techs need to be able to look at their readings and make sure they have adequate water to meet any condition. Um, I made up a worksheet for students based again on, on talking closely with Kyle and Lyle about what does your everyday work look like and we came up with a simple problem about reading um, sorry this what the computer screen says and how is that at you know how do you know if that's accurate and checking that against PSI pounds per square inch and then solution sheet for instructors um, pretty self self-explanatory Exit ticket, um, asking the students to describe what they learned. So um, again, I ask them to use as much precise technical terminology as possible so that if they're listening to the video, you're getting them to really tune in and try to pick up on some terminology uh, and engage with the video and then have them reflect on the nature of the problem. And this is helpful also for them to realize maybe where their math skills need to be brushed up. You know what. What, where, what area did I struggle with? Oh, I really don't understand the volume of a cylinder. Can somebody explain that to me better? Okay. Um, yeah, it's simple. Mm -hmm.